Hi, I'm Jeremy, volunteer and board member at the Shy Wolf Sanctuary, and this is Dog Bite Prevention Week. Here at Shy Wolf Sanctuary, we have a very specific way on how we like to teach our volunteers and our visitors on how to interact with our canines. So the way we teach our volunteers and our visitors to approach our animals is we get as low as possible. In this situation, our animal is up high, so standing is okay. He's still up where he can be above me. Uh, I'm not looming over him. I'm gonna extend my hand palm up and keep my fingers together. A lot of people have been uh, taught to do this, uh, extend the back of their hand. We find that that can be looked at as a threatening posture and also it allows me to conceal something so they are curious or fearful of what might be in my hand so if I put my hand out like this fingers tight together so I'm just offering one thing it gives him a chance to figure out who I am or what I am and after that uh, I can reach out to him and tr try to work on his chin and his chest and whatever he'll allow so what we don't want to do is we don't want to go over the top of them because the top of their head is where all of their sensory organs are and if I go over the top of their head you can see as I go like this, you see how she moved her head to the left and to the right to get out from under my hand? That's because that can be a, um, perceived as an act of dominance or an act of abuse, especially if an animal has abuse in its past, like a m many of our animals do and many of the rescues that people have in their homes. So we want to be as non-threatening as possible. Oftentimes when we come in contact with an animal out and about and in the public, uh, many times the animal will be on a leash. A lot of times the animal will be relaxed because they're with their owner. Uh, and laying down. If we're gonna approach an animal like that, first off, we wanna make sure that we have permission from the owner. And then we wanna come from an area where he can see us, he or she can see us the whole time, like Raven here knows that I'm here. I'm using my voice so that I don't surprise the animal and I'm gonna keep my hand low so that he can see. You can see now that I'm leaning in that he's trying to expose his belly there. That's a good sign that he's comfortable with me reaching in. And when I do, you always wanna make sure that you're paying close attention to their reaction and adjust your behavior accordingly. So to recap, we always want to approach an animal slowly. Then we want to get as low as possible and offer a hand out, palm up, keep it lower than their chin and allow them to approach us. If possible, reach your hand up, make that first contact on their chin and then scratch their belly and whatever they're comfortable with. Always pay attention to what the animal is telling you with their body language, as well as uh, what the owner might be telling you. Uh, they know their animal best. Always make sure that you have permission of the owner before you approach an animal that belongs to somebody else. Hi, I'm Katie, volunteer trainer at Shy Wolf Sanctuary. Thank you for watching the video and as always, be kind to animals and be kind to people. Uh, we hope to see you here at Shy Wolf Sanctuary.